So the next person who contributed towards the ideal gas law was Jack Charles. He found out the relationship between volume and temperature. Jack Charles was actually interested in hydrogen balloons. He developed the first hydrogen balloon and one of the first flights they did, they launched a big hydrogen balloon from the site where the Eiffel Tower now stands. The hydrogen balloon fell, flew about 21 kilometres over fields and things and then it came to rest. When it came to rest in the field, all the peasants were terrified about what it was and they, so they tore it to shreds using pitchforks, which was a bit sad for Charles. But to get the hydrogen into the balloon, Charles discovered that if he cooled it down a lot with water, he could actually get a lot more hydrogen into that balloon. So this led to what's now known as Charles's Law. Charles's Law says that there's a relationship between the volume and the temperature. It can be written as volume on temperature is constant, or volume 1 on temperature 1 is equal to volume 2 on temperature 2. So let's have a look at a demonstration now where we'll change the temperature of something quite dramatically and see how its volume changes. What we have here is some liquid nitrogen which is at 77 kelvins which is a minus 196 degrees Celsius. And here's a balloon. At the moment, this balloon is at room temperature, so around about 25 degrees C. What we're going to do in a minute is pour the liquid nitrogen over the balloon to decrease its temperature. So to do that, we need a bit of safety equipment. So face mask. lab coat and gloves. Okay, so now let's pour this. You can see that as the balloon gets cold, its volume decreases. Now if we leave it here for a minute to warm back up again, it should go back to its original volume. So you can see it returning to its original volume now. Let's try a problem on that now. A balloon has a volume of 4,000 centimetres cubed, which is 4 litres at room temperature. How cold would you need to get the balloon to shrink it to a quarter of its current size? So to answer this, we're going to have to use the formula V1 on T1 is equal to V2 on T2. We know that V2 is equal to a quarter of V1, where V1 is the original volume. And what we're asked to find is this T2. So let's rearrange this. T2 is equal to V2 on V1 times T1. And so now we can substitute everything in. V2 is a quarter of V1. Here we've got V1. And T1 is room temperature, which is 25 degrees C. But this temperature needs to be in kelvins. So that's 25 plus 273. So this V1 and that V1 will cancel each other out. And we'll end up with a quarter of 25 plus 273, which is equal to 298. So a quarter of 298, so that is equal to 75 kelvins, 
or minus 198 degrees Celsius.